Hey there, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 1, Lesson 11, Scales Without Units. After this lesson, you need to be able to explain the meaning of scales expressed without units, and be able to use scales without units to calculate actual distances or distances in a scale drawing. You'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can explain the meaning of scales without units, change scales with units to ones without or the opposite, and then use scales without units to calculate distances. So what if a scale has no units? So for example, we have this picture here. The garden is drawn at a scale of 1 to 25. If there are no units. What does that mean? Well, it just means that both parts of the scale have the exact same unit. So the drawing compared to the real life have the same unit. So one centimeter on the drawing would be 25 centimeters in real life. They have the same unit. Now, it doesn't matter what unit you pick, they're going to have the same unit. So one inch in our drawing would be the same as 25 inches in real life. Let's look at what this means on the drawing. So I drew a line that's one centimeter long. Well, that means in real life that part of the garden is 25 centimeters. If I keep measuring one centimeter segments, they're kind of smushed together here, but every time that is 25 more centimeters. So if we look closely, I had one, two, three, four, five 25 centimeter segments. So five centimeters on my drawing, five times 25 would be 125 centimeters in real life. We could do the same with our inch scale. So if I were to measure that tree, it's about two inches long. Using our scale, that would be 25 and 25. So our tree would be about 50 inches wide. Now let's look at equivalent scales. So sometimes we want to be able to change our scales into something that makes a little bit more sense to us. So for example, we have a scale given as one inch to three feet. How could we change this to make it another scale? Well, if I start out with what I know, I know that one inch is three feet, I'm going to use equivalent measurements to change it into a different scale. So. On the right side, I'm going to multiply 3 feet by 12 because I know there are 12 inches in one foot. So if I had 3 feet and 12 of them in each foot, then I would have 36 inches total. So I was able to change my feet into inches. So the same scale written differently is 1 inch is equal to 36 inches. Now, because they have the same unit, we could also get rid of that unit and say that our scale is 1 to 36. And now that we are able to get rid of the unit, we can change it into anything we want because now we know without units, the two have the same unit. So if I wanted to say 1 mile to 36 miles, I could do that. 1 meter to 36 meters, I can do that. In this lesson, we learned about scales without units. We also learned about converting scales into different units. So for example, a map might say the scale is one to a thousand. That just means that one unit on the drawing is equal to a thousand of that same unit in real life. And thinking back to previous lessons, if we wanted to go backwards and start from the real world and go back to the drawing, we would be able to take the reciprocal. So here we had 1 to 1,000. Going backwards, we would have to multiply by 1 1,000th, the reciprocal. 
We also learned that scales with units, we can change so that they have scales without units. We do that by getting the scales to be the same, and once they're the same, we can remove it. After this lesson, do you know how to explain the meaning of scales without units? Can you change scales with units into scales without units? Can you calculate distances with or without units on the scale? And that's the end of this lesson on scales without units.